Testing, testing. <laughs> a one, two, three. Testicles. The Voxel Corsa 1994 is available now. No, I think Sean this is the it. voice of God. You have died from too much <laughs> masturbation. Shit! You would catch up with me in the end. <laughs> right. Hello, everybody. This is a podcast. You're right. Yeah. I'm... Great. Cool. I'm... <laughs> I'm joined by Mr. Angry Chimp Show. You said it again. What? What have My I done? Mr. Sh- <laughs> Mr. Show. <laughs> No, you will be called Mr. Show, all right? Because I'm doing the recording, so fuck you. <laughs> all right, fine. Okay. It's Angry Chimp. The show part is the channel. All right. How is it set up in your Google Plus? Have you got Angry Chimp as your first name and then Show as your surname? I think <laughs> my first name is Angry and my second name is Chimp. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Chimp, how the devil are you doing on this Wednesday? I'm fantastically sick. Great. So, so if you listen, if you listen, if you hear any sucking noises, that's me sucking on a fisherman's friend. All right, is that what they call them? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and are those disgusting lollies that only old men eat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I am like seventy-two. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by your voice. And I'm joined by uh, by shop mouths in Australia. Hello. Is it dark outside? It is. It's very there's, dark. There's sunlight streaming through my window. I have you down as a liar. <laughs> yeah, they, they're already in... You said you were already in daylight savings time, uh, didn't you, Shock Maps? Yeah, we just went into it. Yeah, we've got another week, is it, Pete? I, I, I don't know. I just sort of That's... rely on everything to do it for me, which is why <laughs> I've fallen apart so fast. The thing is, is like, when I was, when I was younger, I was late to work, <laughs> like, every time. <laughs> <laughs> what year was this that you were younger? Was it in 1910? Was it 1930? Yeah, yeah. No, no, 1934. Okay, so yeah, we are getting quite old. Right. <laughs> please, please continue Blockchain with your amazing anecdote. <laughs> uh, was I finished? Was I was finished? I was just late to work every year. <laughs> nice one. Great. This is. This, can you? Can anybody tell that this has no fucking format whatsoever? I'm yeah. What are we talking sure about? Are. I have no fucking clue, right? What do you want to talk about? Everyone, everyone, come up with something they want to talk about. Okay. But well, not not at the same time, though. Just something. To you know, talk most about. podcasts have been established. They do this before <laughs> they record. Well, there's a film. Well, called, so, there is a film called something, something to talk stuff. about. And there's a body yeah. to, uh, a body right uh, rate song. What? What? A body rate what? song called something to talk about. There's a what? What? There's a Bonnie Raitt song, which is called Something to Talk About. Right. And there's a film. Right, okay. here you go. Conversation topic generator. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Dogs. D- uh, cats. Well, oh, listen, oh, I, 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 I love how it's called a conversation generator, and it was basically over in a word. <laughs> Shock mouse preferred. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer dogs? You're dead. I've got a dog as a pet. Well, I've got a cat as a pet. What type of dog? And he'd well, eat pup- you. He's a puppet dog, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> that thing. <laughs> you haven't used him in a while. No. Yeah, no. Um, doing his voice hurts my voice. <laughs> doing his voice hurts my voice. Angry Chimp Yeah. 2016. All right, another random topic. What accomplishment are you most proud of? Oh, the Angry Chimp Show. <laughs> sort of goes without that's saying. A sad statement, even in itself, isn't it? That's a sad statement. <laughs> I'm, I'm most proud of getting a thousand subscribers, even though it was eight years ago, <laughs> and then it's gone nowhere since. Then. That's so <laughs> since depressing. Then yeah, since then he's got a whole extra hundred. And, but then it, it dipped below a thousand because they deleted all the dead accounts, and then it like slowly climbed up again. So I celebrated a thousand twice. That's really heartbreaking. <laughs> it was. Well, it was cool because I got to, like, celebrate it the way that I wanted to the second time. Yeah. I got to buy a cake. Where well, the first time, I didn't have you enough money to buy a cake. You actually bought, bought a cake. cake. You actually bought a cake I for did. your thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even party. I was just like, oh. It's a chocolate. Cool. <laughs> and Pete, you got a thousand <laughs> overnight, mate, because of that video. 
on Cool Cat. I wouldn't say overnight. I woke up to a thousand, but it was it was certainly that's the, that's the very definition of overnight. <laughs> I, 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 had, I had like six hundred like in a day, but like I wouldn't say a thousand. Come on, guys, get real. <laughs> it's just some sort of weird blur, unfortunately, that YouTube is. Yeah, I know. One I would say I would say though that my next... sorry. <laughs> Sorry, no, go. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that my my best best accomplishment is getting I hate everything to talk to me. Senpai noticed oh, me. When was that? That was on my documentary. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> have you not been paying attention? But I did. I watched. I must have finished watching it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four minutes in. <laughs> Maybe it was a different one. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Oh. Yeah, on on that day he had a quick shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I've done that actually. I do watch you guys on. Doing, I'm, I'm <laughs> I feel <Right>. oddly <laughs> dirty now. <laughs> I feel violated. Although, do you do you want to know who who subscribed to me? Like uh, this last week, just gone. I H E. No, Tommy NT2010. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> that's the um, that's the guy who Leafy made fun of, and uh, and then uh, and then basically everyone was like, "This ain't right," and then gave him a load of subscribers. Oh wait, the is he the autistic kid? Uh, what Keemstar calls the autistic kid, yes. <laughs> yeah, because I just what I had no idea about that up until like ten minutes before you guys called, and I was watching someone. Yeah, talk about that. That's really weird. See, this is exactly why you don't get many subs. You don't even watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This happened like a year ago. First angry chimp exposed. Now shock mouse. <laughs> I don't watch much of anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm so glad that we decided to do this podcast where we actually try and talk about YouTube because, you know, we got Shock Mouse here. It was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> What's YouTube of which you speak? What's YouTube? We don't get it here. <laughs> I'm a fucking veteran. I've, my account's over 10 years old. It's just never gone anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I, I, guys, you said like the internet is so slow over in Australia that it's just getting there now from last year. Yeah. <laughs> so really... <laughs> Really, Shock Mouse has got 10,000 stubs. It's just that he hasn't seen it yet. I don't know it yet. The thing is, is that, <laughs> is that surprisingly, a lot of the internet speed relies on distance. And so in the UK, we're not too bad because we're not overly that far from America. But like Australia is the other side of the fucking world. So they're going to get like stuff really, really slowly. And like genuinely, that's why internet sucks like in, um, in Australia and New Zealand. They should uh, rely on um, China or Hong Kong more, then. Yeah. Although, to be honest with you, Taiwan has got, like, stupid fast internet. Oh, China yeah. China doesn't really have internet. Sorry? China doesn't really have internet. Oh, well, that was well, Korea. The that we know it, they heavily censor it. Yeah. yeah. And on that note, if you could acquire any skill, what would you choose? Uh... Calligraphy. That's very exact. It is. Why? 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 Because, like, I write out scripts, and when I I can't read them back. You actually? So I, you, I was just saying, you actually out. physically physically write out the scripts. And not yeah, like wow. not all the time. Like, like more often than not, I just do bullet points. Yeah, like, obviously. Yeah, that's heaps easier. But when you can't read the bullet point because <laughs> <laughs> your writing is so shit, well, you've that's got quite important. That's exactly how I did that exposed video. I've got it like right here in front of me. It's like bullet points. And then like I was furiously right. I couldn't really read it back. I just use <laughs> Apple's Notes app. <laughs> I've got like, I have literally got like scripts for videos gone by in my Notes app still. See, I find it would be like, I'd be more fiddly with like the pad on the, the iPhone or whatever. So I just get a pen and paper and just write fucking gibberish down. Literally, no, I can't understand. <laughs> literally at the bottom, right, of my notes app, I've got the intro for Yvette's Bride, uh, Bride Formal. 
When you're getting married, you need the best ring, best venue, and certainly the best dress available. It's some sort of weird competition people get into, and personally, I don't get it. But hey, enter Vets Bride Formal. Basically, if you thought that getting everything ready for the big day was stressful enough, Christ, man, you really need to try navigating this website. <laughs> Literally, I wrote that down. <laughs> Was that like a note to yourself in the future? Hey, Peter in the future. This is hard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've literally, I've literally got a, um, I've literally got uh, music I love. Oh, fucking hell, it's like a, some sort of treasure trove in here. I think like, everyone has different ways of. I think, I think you've got the intro for doing like, the video. <laughs> you've got the intro for I look at horrid Henry. <laughs> Weird. That, yeah, everyone has different ways of structuring their videos. Like, like obviously you do that, and um, you know people don't really you know you guys know what i do for a living and i'll probably just say i'm a bus driver so what tends to happen is i think about ideas while i'm driving i do i do and have I, can't I, do, I, I just have this mental image of just this chimp puppet with this little like sort of driver's yeah. hat on <laughs> 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 wearing some sort of uniform like i fucking hate this job <laughs> yeah yeah with epilepsy, epilepsy on. yeah <laughs> right. um so what happens is I think about all these great ideas while I'm driving, and then I get out of the vehicle and I forget them all. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally I, I think I have to have like a dictaphone, like constantly on record, so I can just speak <laughs> my ideas out. Yeah. What do you do with a video shocks? Do you just wing it? <laughs> by looks of it. For the cartoons and stuff, I'll write them down in like on yeah on paper and then type them up, refine them. But those stupid fucking podcast ones uh, were like three dot points, and then I go, all right, I'm going to talk for half an hour. And then thank God you did that video saying they were shit, because otherwise I might be still be doing them. <laughs> You're doing another podcast now with us. Well, it's a lot better because I don't have to talk. Cl like the first one that I recorded, I had to record again because. I was just talking and talking and talking and talking and talking, not taking a breath. I nearly passed out in my own friggin' house. My wife would have come home and found me on the floor dead. Oh. <laughs> the thing is with that <laughs> podcast, right, is like when I was doing the video on you, I'm watching this podcast, right, and I'm thinking, is it just him? <laughs> <laughs> is someone right. coming in later? <laughs> yeah, because other people, like, they'll have guests on, like, even with, like, Peter Day's, uh, when he does his look at lives, right, he's having guests on so he's interacting with someone yeah i, I can't i can't i can't just... entertain anybody for an hour straight <laughs> yeah. you, you sat there right and you waffled on for what was it like an hour really and, uh, <laughs> yeah when I don't what? have many friends <laughs> like, 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 he waffles on for an hour like on his own <laughs> and it's like <laughs> and a little bit of part of me like felt sorry for it right <laughs> a little part of me died a fucking puppet felt sorry for <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at this. I only watched like five minutes of this podcast. And I'm looking around the table. Peter and he's got his monkeys exposed. in the background and stuff. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> sorry. Oh. Like, when you were younger, oh, what did you want to be when you grew up? <laughs> oh. Did you want to be a bus driver, chimp? Um, I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be Do a you have fire a space engine. Program? Chimps in space. I wanted to be a fire <laughs> engine. So you wanted to be a what? I wanted to be a fire engine. Ah. <laughs> like legit. You got, the, you got the big red rosy cheeks for it, haven't you? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm certainly screechy like one. What did you want to be, Pete? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 YouTube sensation. Popular. There you go. Popular. No. <laughs> I was I was very much the loner kid at the school. Very much. Oh. I was too. Could you tell? <laughs> no. Well, that's why we're getting on so well now, right? I was. Yeah. I was. Uh, it's probably no surprise that I was the class clown. So. <laughs> Yeah, I was, very I was yeah. swinging on his chair, throwing sweets up in the air, catching them in his mouth, shouting out random shit. Yeah, that was me. 
Nothing's really changed. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh, the uh, dogs are barking next door. So if you hear barking, right, that's, I'm going to go and shoot these dogs quickly. Okay. Because every time okay. I record, uh, every time I record something, they'll bark. Like, literally, there's, there's like 20 minutes of just dead footage of them barking and me having a fit. <laughs> In character as the puppet. In character as a puppet, yeah. I, 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 I normally edit it out, but I can literally show you 20 minutes of me just screaming at barking dogs. <laughs> I think the world wants to see that. <laughs> so you're shitty at your neighbours over their dogs, but your neighbours at the same time are just freaking the fuck out because they're like, oh my god, that full-grown man next door is playing with his puppet again. <laughs> 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 Talking to himself. <laughs> Can't he get a nine to five? Fuck <laughs> 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 Like, what? The dog's still barking. I'm gonna, you know what to do? I'm going to go over and I'm going to set tape that's jaw shut. Oh, Jesus. Could dogs bark out their nose? Uh, um, we can find out. Uh, uh, what was the question? Uh, super <laughs> <laughs> my, my superpower is to shut the dog up. No. Um, I would like the a chance to manipulate time. Right. Oh. Yeah. So freezing it, um, reversing it, all that kind of stuff. Why um, am I the only one love... answering these questions? <laughs> no, I love that one. I would say that one, but I'll tell you what I was going to say. And it's for the same reason that I would pick time, is invisibility. And that's because I'm a creep. What, you... What, you can what figure out the rest. <laughs> <laughs> what, you... What, you go inside the women's changing rooms quickly or so I don't, I don't really <laughs> so freeze time and just have a look I'm just taking a limp out of Angry Chimp Show's book here and I've actually got like a little notepad and I'm just sort of sketching down bullet points for like a shot mouse like exposed video oh can you please do one <laughs> he's a creep yeah he, he, he needs a sub invisibility had... invisibility who the fuck wants that <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> <laughs> He I had imagine... so many missed opportunities. He had an invisibility say, cloak and a time turner. I was going to say, Harry Potter, like, certainly there would have been moments where that just wasn't written about. That he would abuse the fuck out of what he had. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It really was a fantasy world, wasn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> so not real life. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter goes into a bank. <laughs> 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 and he didn't really need to he had that goal didn't he so it'd be Harry Potter goes into it would be Harry Potter goes into the women's changing rooms at 14 and has a wanks under his invisibility cloak <laughs> yeah but instead he did the most boring thing and he just went into the library oh yeah. I can look at all the naughty books but not those naughty books just the ones that they don't want us to read about spells and shit I was going to say they were unbelievably nerdy weren't they so uninspired isn't he Chip what's the last thing that you bought uh, video game. Ah, what video game? FIFA 17. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that, was, that was literally so, you know, that was so mainstream and cliche. <laughs> oh, I bought FIFA 17. Oh, it's a it's, gamer. Like, you it's know, the English I, version of Madden. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Basically. But it's soccer, dear. <laughs> Shock, what was the last thing you bought? Um, hang on. Ginormous what was dildo. the last thing I bought? Ginormous dildo. Yeah, no, just anything. What was the last thing I bought besides food? We do all the time. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think it was Sims. That Sims. Steam was having a sale. Ah. My <laughs> wife's pointing at these big plastic bags. She's like, "We bought these bags." No, they're not <laughs> interesting. I'm sorry. <laughs> The UK has a thing where you have to spend five fucking pence on a plastic bag and it drives me up the fucking wall. Uh, we don't have that except for at Aldi. And I hate Aldi. <gasps> we have no, an Aldi? Plastic bags. We have Aldi. Aldi. <clears throat> Aldi always had that here though, didn't they? Yeah. Like, they, but it's come in as standard now over here. But what everyone does is they just carry plastic bags in their pocket. Mm. <laughs> so now I've got something to, you know, suffocate people with. They piss me off. Do you know what, right? Yeah. 
we'd keep forgetting them in our car, right? So we actually have now in, in the in the boot of our car, we now have like countless yeah. plastic bags, right, for going shopping. But like there was a time where we kept forgetting about it. And then like Hannah was like, oh, we forgot the fucking, we forgot the fucking plastic bags again. I'm like, like calm down, they're only 5p each. And it turned out that we actually had too many to put away. We actually you had fit plastic bags in your car. We had to actually get rid of some of the plastic bags because we had too many. Well, that's the thing. We keep the bags for <laughs> in our car because they're like, "Oh, buy a bag for life. It's one pound and it will last for life." Well, not really, but okay. I must have spent. Um, I was gonna say I must have spent well over like sort of a couple of hundred pounds on shopping bags. Yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> like, you forget in, in, in the car, so you end up like so you got your bag for life in the car, which was like quid, and then you forget it. So you go in and you pay five p for a fucking plastic bag, yeah, which you then put in your car and then forget it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. The amount of so it, times I... that I've not like I've not bought a bag and I've just walked out of like Morrison's with like a hand hands full of stuff, like fucking raw chicken under the arm and fucking <laughs> just just like a loose chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... You broke him. <laughs> just got this, this mental image of just this, this puppet just sort of still like sort of like partially dressed in like bus uniform which is this fucking like not even packaged chicken just under your left arm. <laughs> it's the weirdest fucking image ever. I, I, I do that. Because I'm so stubborn that I won't buy the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's five uh, p. Yeah, but I'm stubborn. Oh my god. Are, are you? Or are you just poor? Oh. That too. <laughs> I I used to work at a, at a checkout at like an Aldi. Like I lived two to three hours outside of Sydney. And this was about ten years ago, and someone. Had, came through from Sydney and they told me about this place because um, where I was working was I you'd be standing up all day for nine hours a day and you'd be scanning all the items for your customer and putting them in the bag for them bags that you provide for them for free but they told me about this place where they're like oh there's this place in Sydney where they sit down on a chair they don't have to pack the bag and it's great I'm like Bull, really? No. And I, it's the promised and I moved land. To Sydney and went to Aldi. And I'm like, oh my god, this was the place she was talking about, and I hate it. <laughs> it's like the promised land. It was. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds genuinely hurt. I can tell you the last thing I bought. It was a subway yesterday for my lunch, and oh, actually no, I didn't even buy that. My coworker bought it for me because I was having a bad day. And uh, actually, we're scrapping. Uh, sorry, we're scrapping. Are you on the toilet? <laughs> no, I was in the kitchen. We're oh, okay. uh, we're scrapping food. Food's not allowed. It has to be a physical item. Oh, okay. Uh... Uh... Could you count train tickets as an item? Uh, I suppose. Uh, let's just say a luxury item. No, it's a required item because my work is a dildo. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 the first luxury item like you bought for yourself because obviously that's something that's mandatory oh, luxury right? item. Food, I... food yeah food I... and getting to work is mandatory okay, but luxury... I, I don't think I've, I've bought myself any sort of uh luxury items like i bought the baby a baby monitor because she's now in her own bedroom okay that counts it's a which is it's exciting it's a video monitor and and it, it, it's so glitchy because the battery can't make up if it's charged or not. So it has just a, like a major freak out if you unplug it. Just goes all glitchy and shit. That's my life. <laughs> Peter Day's family life. Chimp, have you ever been in love? Uh, yes, I am currently in love with myself. <laughs> <laughs> and Becky Boo <laughs> I was about to say Becky <laughs> I was in her stream today. You were in her stream. How did yeah. it feel? Someone... <laughs> <laughs> was it that was stream... very high pressure. <laughs> was, that... <laughs> was that stream tight? 
<laughs> oh, please continue, Shock, with your amazing anecdote. <laughs> I can't now because you've outdone it. <laughs> you were in. No, history. I was just going to say some kid was starting shit in the chat and he was trying to fight people, and I've never seen that <laughs> in her chats before. Her chats were always civilized, and I was trying to try to go on a tangent there and talk about YouTube drama, but you want to bloody make make <laughs> make sick little what's it called? Shit. Innuendos. What's the word? Innuendos. Innuendos. Betty Betty boob jokes. <laughs> And on that note, what's the first thing you think of fair. in the morning? To be fair, right, no, quickly going back on to Betty Boop. Um, <laughs> back on her. Back on her. <laughs> uh, I'd have her on her. Um, oh, God. <laughs> um, normally, she, normally she has a moderator. Does she not have a moderator? Yeah, but I think they were confused. I was confused. confused. They were confused. <laughs> she even stopped the game just to go, hang on, what's going on? I have to... I bet you any money that shocks you were a moderator, wouldn't you? You didn't even fucking know it. You know, I'll find out sometime in 2018. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, because, yeah, normally what she does is she times them out. <laughs> so she kicks them out for uh -huh. five or ten minutes. Carry on, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> just fall apart. <laughs> What's the first thing that you think about in the morning? Sex. Fuck, I'm alive still. <laughs> The drugs didn't work. Normally, actually, to be <laughs> fair, right? Um, normally, what I think about in the morning is why is that alarm fucking going off already? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's the last movie you saw? Oh, that's a question. Um, what last movie did I see? <laughs> I don't think she's gonna keep asking the missus. <laughs> she's not Siri. I guess it's my diary. <laughs> <laughs> She's not Siri. <laughs> oh, I watched this terrible Australian made movie. It's horrible. It's supposed yeah? to be a comedy, but it's a comedy for the first 20 minutes and then it's just horrible. <laughs> they just and it's rich days. It's set during the time where we had race riots 11 years ago. Oh. And it's just not funny. It's yeah. horrible. I mean, it's funny in the first 20 minutes, but then it just gets really dark. I mean, because it's about race riots. What, like, how could that be funny? It's not funny. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. What about I you, don't see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to remember. I think the last thing I saw was in the cinema, but what the hell was it? Finding Dory. Ah, oh, was it good? <laughs> it wasn't bad, actually. It's not like Finding Nemo. It's a little bit more, like, heavy, like, sad and emotional. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good film. Well, Pixar like doing that, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I was, um, my last one I watched was on Monday, and it's a film from the 1950s called A Face in the Crowd, which I'm going to do a video on in the future. Um, Doc Reviews uh, suggested I watch it, and it's absolutely brilliant. Is Doc Reviews working on any other videos? Um, not with me at the moment. It, basically what happens is that he will take a long extended break for months, and then he'll go, PD got a video if you want to work on it and I'm like yeah okay sure and then he literally they, we just go through the scripts and sort of make changes both of us and then like um, then he just says okay here's here's the uh, recording of me go to town and then I go okay so yeah it was um it, as I said like the last thing I worked on was the Fung Bros video but what he what he does is that he just he disappears for ages and then he just comes back, which is kind of like how I like to work, to be honest with you. Just sort of take breaks and just do it when I feel like it. Well, you don't really have a schedule, do you, Shock Mouth? It keeps changing. <laughs> I keep planning so, shit. So then... that means you don't have a schedule then, doesn't it? If it keeps changing. Yeah, well, I try to have one and then I change it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I've been pretty strict with myself, actually. Um, more or less right the way since I started. Like two, two, um, two to three uploads a week. It used to be three, but I was finding three a little bit heavy, so I changed it to two. Yeah, a lot. Um, so I could up the quality of my video. But um, I think, like I said, I think I said this to you already, Pete. Like after Christmas, I think I might go to one. Yeah. Um, and and then really start working on quality over quantity. I just wanted to have a nice sort of log of of videos on on my channel, so when people came to my channel, they could um. You know, it could have a nice plethora of crap to look at. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, the, the ultimate goal would be to just improve in every aspect. Yeah. Right? Obviously, I have to improve my equipment. I, I can't do anything more than what, what I am doing now with the equipment I got. Yeah. Till the, the point where I've upgraded, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. But yeah, I would like to, I would like to really make my, my quant- uh, quality better. Uh, so hopefully I can carry on and get to that point. Yeah. That's I think your I'm quality. To do. Yeah, I mean, shock me out, your quality. I was really surprised with the quality of your video that you, you released on me yesterday. Because, oh, thank you. you know, you uh, you were so excited about it. You messaged me on Twitter. I've got this idea, I've got this idea. You know, I've got all these messages through. <laughs> um, and I thought, oh, it's going to take a few days of it. It's like, I've done it already. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you what my day job is now? Uh, expose an angry chimp? No. No. I'm a video editor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I censor things on TV and have to blur things and cut things out. and. Yeah. That sounds yeah. cool. I can yeah, send I... it up to you and you can edit it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, when you told me that you edit on an iPad, I went, holy shit. Yeah, and that's, that is not have... I, I have a lie. Yeah, you know, literally, literally when I started, I started um, using iMovie. And then I, yeah. like, I think it was at the um, Westboro Baptist Church. I was like, I'm go- I, I am essentially hacking iMovie to make it do what I want it to do. So I, I had to switch to Final Cut Pro. My God, did it remove that ceiling that I was hitting? In yeah, because I, I don't know how people use them. It's this, they're really, they eat up all your time. Yeah, they really do. Like Grade A Under A, did you see that video he was talking about how he doesn't want to change how he makes his videos and he still makes them using Windows Movie Maker? Yeah, but the thing is, is that you need to kind of evolve and stuff. Well, yeah, but... and I think that's his his problem, why he's getting burnout and why he's getting so stressed is because he won't use another program. You can use another program like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Fine yeah, and, and it still would just keep like that look. dramatically reduce the, uh, the stress involved with it. Yeah. yeah, like 36 hours to make those videos that he makes, like all up that's too long yeah way too long it's definitely i mean i think that with, like with my videos like because i'm because i'm working off of one um ipad like like ripping movies on places and going in and out of apps and doing all that and mucking around and then getting it into the program it really does just like take up my time i'd be able to knock out a video quicker if i had the right mm. equipment yeah you know and it was just drag stuff across and then 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 this and and gray day under a like i can understand why he doesn't like want to change because that's how he's um his channel was built on and maybe he's afraid that if he changes too much that people won't watch maybe yeah but yeah you should be trying to evolve still he doesn't really have to change a lot of his stuff just the way he's doing it and yeah. it'll slowly change over time and maybe in a couple of years you look back and you go oh shit it has changed a lot but it'll be so gradual you won't notice yeah and if I mean if he just did a little bit of an upgrade like on on the how he's recording his voice and maybe a little bit of an upgrade on the drawings and that no, no, people would probably enjoy that at this point enjoy it being a little bit more refreshed you know it feel yeah. like it's yeah. refreshed you know even there, if he changes make... the drawings annually yeah um, but I mean, Leaf, Leafy's really having the same problem. His stuff is, I mean, everyone's talking about it now, it's going stale, it's going stale. Yes, it is. The formula is going stale. He's done the same film, formula now for, what, over a year and a half, two years? Yeah. Uh, uh, it, and people get bored of the formula eventually. It can work for so long. Yes, and he's he's built his channel up nicely, but he's now in a position where he can do whatever the hell he wants and millions of people will still watch it. Yeah. Mm. You know, so why not go and try something new do some different stuff you know um obviously when you're small like peter and you do vlogs you just get fucked up the ass but yeah <laughs> oh, i can't begin to tell you how much fucking people hated me for doing that week long vlog like i i enjoyed doing it i, I would have still done it regardless because i like doing it but jesus christ man <laughs> anyway, if you had millions of um subscribers and getting millions of views on each video you probably wouldn't have even noticed much of it. It would just would have been a video that, oh, that video only got 1.5 million instead of two. Yeah. Oh, the the horror, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, when you get to that size and you're, like, determined on um, getting income for, like, uh, for like as your job, 
you know, like something like lower than a than a normal amount that you like want to sort of try and keep everything normalized for like so you know how much money is coming in because that's how YouTube is. It's so uncertain. But like, mm. there's people who genuinely get upset that if where well, they normally get like a million views, they get something like five hundred thousand. That's essentially half of what they're you know they would normally got. And remember, they have to pay people who you know help make it like production mm. staff and everything, and they might have wages to pay and everything if they're like a boss. So it, yeah. it, it does get sort of high stress, unfortunately, and uh, the money's got to come from somewhere. And if it's not done that great, you still have to pay the people that money. Yeah. I think yeah. a lot of that can be down to how you run your channel, though, because yeah. there's some people, obviously, that do have high production values, like your... Um, uh, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head now. Uh, John someone who's high... John, yeah, John Tron. Uh, 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 they're, 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 help me out, Pete. Pete, my mind's gone blank. Blank. Phil I, DeFranco. Phil DeFranco. Tom Scar. Uh, yeah, um, and they obviously do have quite high high production range. But then you have got maybe someone like H3H3 H3 who doesn't because yeah. he's just got he, he, Healer there doing most of the work for him. She even does most of the editing as far yeah. as I'm aware. Yeah. She's a was she a film uh, film student? I can't remember. She was someone when she. Yeah. So f- for them. They're putting in those millions of views, but they haven't got much of a uh, production to, to give out. You know, they don't have to pay anyone's yeah. wages or anything. Yeah. Um, you know what this YouTube like careers sort of thing is like? It's like football players. I mean, I'm assuming it's the same over there as it is here. You get these professional football players, whether it's rugby or soccer, and they make, they, they're young, they start making a lot of money, and they go, oh, shit, and they probably blow all the money thinking it's always going to be there but it's not they're not going to be yeah. at their prime forever and most of them will drop off when they're like 30 mid 30s whatever but then there are some that will stick around maybe there'll be a commentator or something and that's like your high production people like um you were just saying philip defranco john tron whatever yeah but so what you got to do is realize oh this might not be forever and manage your finances like your first priority and i'm probably going to sound like a piece of shit um should be like paying off your house and stuff make sure that like once the money does if it does drop off you'll be fine yeah no, but if no. i'm i'm assuming leafy is possibly renting thinking oh this money's going to come in forever i don't need to buy a house yeah and the money's going to go away and he's going to go fuck i wasted it well that's yeah. unfortunately what kids do they don't sort of have the um the understanding of what it it's is to say <laughs> Sorry. Well, you, you, uh, you, you bought a house with your 1,000 subscribers. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? I pissed a lot of money away, got into debt, and then thinking, oh, yeah, whatever, not thinking five yeah, minutes Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, you can sit there, and, and I mean, it's the same with a lot of YouTubers. You can sit there and say that to a lot of uh, younger YouTubers, like, you should be doing, looking out for your future, because this isn't, this isn't going to last forever. It, it never does. Yeah. You know, but it that, might. Yeah, I can't. I really don't. Does anyone really sit here and think, "Oh, Leafy's still going to be relevant in ten years' time"? No. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's all you know. I mean, like, as far as I'm concerned, I'd, I'd be surprised if yeah, I'd be surprised if YouTube is still around in ten years' time. Uh, the way yeah. things are going, um, we'll all be on another site. But um, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> 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 I'm terrible at doing that, aren't I? What was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you really got to the stage where you don't even know what you, t- you were talking about. Talking oh, about young YouTubers pissing money away. Pissing money away. Yeah, what was my point? <laughs> <laughs> don't waste your fucking money. Yeah, that that's, that'll do, yeah. Uh, they, they're just not looking out for the, for the future, are they? Um, no. You want, you want to tell them that, that, you know, you want to be buying your house and getting yourself... Uh, sorted for your older age and stuff because most most people are uh, never going to be in that position and you're lucky enough to be in it now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then if you do buy your house and the money is still coming in, then you can be a little prick with it and like piss it away. Yeah, get it all sorted and then then snort it up your nose and do whatever and buy some bitches and chimp hoes or whatever. <laughs> <sighs> wow. <laughs> Got all philosophical and yeah account. Tea. I think we should call it a day there, <laughs> to be honest with you. For uh, yeah, we can do. We can go another five minutes. What are we at? What are we at? 40 minutes? Yeah, we'll 40. Go to 45? Yeah, we'll we'll go to 45. we're around a nice round 45. Yeah, we'll go to 45. That, that's, that's, that's our aim. All right, okay. we've got five, six minutes. Okay. Five minutes. 
Should we play? Give us, give us another we, question, Pete. Should we play a nice team? <laughs> okay, I'll give you. I'll give you another question, but I'm gonna play a nice team building exercise now. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can do a okay. team building exercise. Oh, all right. Okay. I'm gonna say a word. Okay. Then Chimp is gonna say a word, and then Shop Mouse is gonna say a word, and we're gonna create a story. Okay. <laughs> story Real time. <laughs> it's called story time. I'll make it's a jingle for it at one point. Okay. Are you ready? Right. The. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure you understand the format. Good. Stay away, didn't I? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the. Chimp. Cunt. <laughs> Who? Sorry. Flicked. Becky. <laughs> Boops. <laughs> so <laughs> Sorry. Cunt. Cunt. <laughs> Liked. I don't know. <laughs> Liked. <laughs> Two. Uh, play. Play. Bongos. On. On what? Becky. What did you say, Chip? Uh, Betty's. Uh, Becky. Not Betty. Becky. Becky. <laughs> 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 On Becky. Uh, uh, bottom. <laughs> Is someone writing this down? I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Okay. Should start again and I'll write this down then we'll read it out when we're <laughs> No, I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down right now. Oh, you have been. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. He liked. Oh, fuck. Why do I have to say all the nouns? <laughs> um, Felching. <laughs> Classic word that like that. Uh, whilst eating, <laughs> jelly. <laughs> Once oh. he finished eating. Ice lollies. Oh, no, you got, you got only, only one word. Only one word. Uh, ice lolly is one word, isn't it? No, it's two. <laughs> <laughs> we could put lollies. Yeah, let's put lollies. <laughs> Unfortunately, he <laughs> fell. <laughs> he fell. Um. Out with shock mouths. Shock <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've put I put a re I put like a little registered trademark thing on shock mouths. <laughs> um, um, Apple because word. Okay. So our story, ladies and gentlemen, the chimp cunt who flicked Becky Boop's cunt liked to play bongos on Becky Bottom. He liked felching while it e whilst eating jelly. Once he finished eating lollies, unfortunately, he fell out with shock mouse registered trademark Apple because word. <laughs> well, that is uh, that is a phenomenal story. I think we should get it published. Yeah, yeah you know what? We should do this at the end of every podcast, and yeah. then, like, after a year, that's a book. <laughs> oh, my God, we could do that. <laughs> that is so, so, yeah, that's it. That's the, well, we're doing this now. After every podcast, this is what we're doing. Okay, right. That, at the that, end of every podcast. Is that is that sort of chapter one? <laughs> yeah, yes, that's chapter one, the chimp. Chapter one, the chimp. Okay, done. That's going to be in the book. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so I've been Peter Day. I've been Angry Chimp. I've been Shockmouth's trademark. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any way that we got to sign off? Yeah, you should click like and subscribe and share and like then subscribe to my channel, but not theirs. No, subscribe to my channel. You the Chimp is spoken. <laughs> Pe Peter Day's gonna sit there and eat some toast in black and white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you ain't gonna see that, but that's what he does at the end of his videos. It was pizza, like two two videos ago. <laughs> what did he do in the last one? Oh, he was on a phone call, wasn't he? Oh um, yeah. The other one, and the last one, he was just bitching, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, bye. <laughs> bye. bye.